What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again with another episode of Got Em Early. The Jordan 11 Low Pure Violet. Guys, we have here today, this is a women's exclusive, a women's sneaker of the Jordan 11 Low Pure Violet. And these actually release tomorrow. And ladies, I gotta be honest, y'all once again got a banger of a colorway. These, in my opinion, are nice. These are sexy, they're hot. I would love to see them on a lady's foot. And they're not a bad color that I would not mind rocking them. Me personally, though, I am going to take the pass on them. You know what I'm saying? This is a size 10, which says 8.5Y, which I'm pretty sure is the equivalent of an 8.5 in men's. Uh, or eight, I guess they're trying to say 8.5 youth. I don't really know. That's something a little bit different that I've never seen them do before. So I don't know why they necessarily did it for this one. They come with an extra set of laces on these, which is a little bit different for... Jordan 11s in general, and it's of that pure violet type of lace. I'm gonna put this one down, and I'm gonna actually get the actual shoe out so you guys can give you a close look with these in hand. Bam! Check him out, check him out. Jordan 11 low, pure violet. Look at that bottom. Hey, Jordan brand, when it came to this one, executed perfectly. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I love Jordan 11 lows, but I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 11 lows that have the leather. I like that you guys put the mesh on here. It just gives it that great look overall, that OG look, the leather all up and all that. I'm not a big fan when it comes to that. You got the leather on the back like it normally does, you know, on the high top. But, le you know, Jordan 11 lows that have that leather, I'm just not a really big fan of it. So I'm happy that they made the mesh here. The colorway of that pure violet is really nice. I really think this would have been a great shoe to even drop alongside for Easter Sunday or the week of Easter. And these could have been called the Jordan 11 Low Easter. But I think there's actually a Jordan 5 Easter that's like dropping later. It dropped something. I've seen it floating around on the internet. I think though this would have been a perfect shoe for that. That outsole, I love it. I love the pods. I love the pure violet on it. I love that color. It's like a milky, very milky, translucent type of, almost like a violet sole in a way. It's really hard to describe this color that is used on his soul it's uh it's definitely like a milky a milky bottom that's the best way to put it i i i don't i don't know the patent leather's nice on the shoe box it actually says white slash pure violet white jordan women's jordan 11 low and i'm pretty sure well actually i have the price right here these are going to be retailing for 190 dollars this is one of the issues once again ladies they make that you know women's exclusive and they make the extended sizes it was a scheme to make you guys or make you ladies you know i just say guys you know guys overall but to uh make y'all have to pay more you know it is what it is because y'all were buying the G G gs's the youth sizes which there's still people out there able to do that but when they made women's exclusive and then they extended them sizes up that allowed them to charge y'all men prices for women's shoes. So this is a size 10 in ladies, uh, 8.5 in men's. For instance, Nikki, my wife, she wears a 5.5 in women's, which is the equivalent to a 4Y. She will still pay that 190 price point for that sneaker. It is what it is. So it's like it's bittersweet you you know y'all get the exclusive colors the dope colors y'all do get the better quality too overall like they put the quality in this shoe just the same as in a men's you know whereas a gs there is a like a lower drop i always seem like always a different shape and whatnot but when it comes to like men's and women's like shoes like these they tend to make everything the same they don't cut corners like they do on gs tylers and whatnot so for that reasoning, the price is dropped a little bit. For this one, however, you got the 190 price point in full effect. You have on the inside, the Jumpman in that pure violet, which is also dope. And I just thought about this, 194 at low top. Right now, last year, Jordans were costing 190 over just overall. Jordans were costing 190 overall. Now they're costing 200. This low top is costing 190. So I can only imagine how much a Jordan 11 is going to cost this year. I'm thinking we're going to hit 225. Because I remember, or 215, 210 something, because I remember 
back when Jordan 11 lows, even lower, but I'm going to say off the rip, I remember like snake night shades and whatnot going for, you know, just lows in general going for 185 and the 11s were going for 200. And at the time, I think Jordans were going for like 190, 185, something like the rec, like all the Jordans. So the low tops were going for 185 and the men's were going for 200. I know that this $5 price increase, the 11s themselves are going to be going for more than $200. We'll just have to wait and see near the end of the year when more and more drop. But to each its own, this shoe overall, like, solid. You know, I can't complain. I love the color. I love it. Uh, I don't have that much of this in my arsenal, but it's definitely a great shoe to cop for the spring, for the summer. Summer's right around the corner. And this is a nice looking kick for the ladies out there, that extra set of laces, which I don't think would be bad either. I mean, you can really do what you want to do with it at the end of the day. I love that they kept the mesh, so you don't have to worry about that leather. The leather squeaks, and I'm just not a big fan when it comes to the leather overall. And you got the real carbon fiber. So, you know, it is what it is. 190 is a lot, in my opinion, too, though. Aside from me not getting it because I just I don't need another Jordan 11 low right now. The 190 price point is also a lot, just in general. It is what it is. But, hey. I'm the guy that says that and next week I'll spend $200 on something else. So don't take me and my words on prices to heart. I don't know, man. I look at this and I ain't gonna lie. If this shoe was like given to me for free, I definitely would rock it. But I just don't have it in me right now to spend $190 on this one. This is a nice looking shoe. It's a lovely looking shoe. It's definitely a shoe that I think that if you like it, you'll love it. And it's definitely a shoe that maybe one day I regret not buying. Jordan 11 Low. Pure Violet drops tomorrow. Got them early. We out. I love y'all. Peace.